Here's a student's perspective of training with me for three days at my facility in Alabama. Good times. You, uh, if you come to a course, I like to kind of get deep in the weeds. You know, I don't just say, hey, go do this and you'll get this. I very much am into the hows and whys. It's just how my brain works. And we have a great time doing it. Um, you know, if you come here to my facility in Alabama, I've got six pistol bays. Uh, five of them are set up with steel. One of them is a small shoot house. The five with steel, there's over 100 steel targets in there. Um, got, you know, a lot of good challenging shooting set up in those. My rifle ranges go out to 650 yards. Uh, I've got a 650, a 450, and a 200 yard rifle range. Um, those are covered in steel. I think there's 26 berms out there, over 100 pieces of steel between all three bays there, or all three rifle ranges rather. We're shooting from 100% natural terrain. I don't have any plywood barricades or facades. I do have, I think, four or five vehicles up there, a bunch of big boulders, logs to shoot off of, some trees in the ground, 100% natural terrain. Um, the biggest targets I have out there, you know, even out at 650 yards, are like 11 inches wide and 80, 18 inches tall. So really good carbine work from practical shooting environments. Um, yeah, man. So if you're, if you're interested in what I do, check out frankproctorshooting.com. You can see what my course schedule is like. If you'd like to come out and train with me, rock on. That's what goes on here at my facility. Uh, I'm I'm most yeah. It's free to disposition to go that way, versus this way, or you got an angle better right now. How high do you think this front sight's going? What's that? How high do you think front sight's going? How high? Yeah. Relative to the target. It's some so trying to go. But yeah. I started noticing people too. I started noticing my eyes going towards the grass, and I'm like, nope, nope, back on the fucking target. But I, I kind of, I saw the way they were going. Tell you what, the, the thing that first made a bunch of us want to fly down from the last takes class was, uh, you know, had very little to do with his background or anything like that. It was his, his uh, demeanor. Frank knows what he's talking about. He has no ego about the way he presents it. Really, really uh, easygoing class. Uh, it's an intense class, don't get me wrong. Uh, the range is freaking amazing. You can hear it back there. Um, anything from 10 yards out to freaking 650. Um, and he does a fantastic job of breaking down uh, everything to, to incremental pieces that we can take and, uh, and digest and apply. So uh, we loved it. Uh, we will be here again. And uh, yeah, thanks, Frank. This is how to present the pistol, right? This is what this pistol has to look like for that to happen. According to the match of the club, a lot of them have grass, a lot of them got grass. You try to come to a, an immediate stop. Get this side. Can you get the light on this just right? Good. I will go right on past some eating sometimes. Oh.
it, it matters, and it's relevant, it's what will allow this to happen. Right. What I'd like to do, since we were to do this again, and you've never done this, would have a video from everything we did yesterday morning. So I think we have putting that out at a time so they can kind of at least uh, chew off for a little bit. Yeah. Come in here and then you can do that for a while, but I didn't have the assets to, to capture the video right. But yeah. On time, at least you saw a week out of the course. I mean, most of that stuff is dry fire stuff. <laughs> That'll always be our failure too. I mean, past the point where, you know, if you can stand there and hit that target, when you fail, you're hitting and it's in time. Yeah. No. I, on, that, on that deviation drill, I get a little more on that Just push. So over here, you're aiming the gun way out to the right, but you're pushing it back to the left some. It's on my pistol there. So I'll show you. So you torque on this? Coming up like that? But it's not. Most likely, it's a matter of connecting to the gun too soon. Most of our misses on this are going to come from connecting to the gun too soon. That would be it. Not your mechanics, your trigger manipulation. It's just what you're seeing. Okay. Let your eyes, trust your eyes. Or a couple of takeaways first of all, and then why we did this this way, and what we're going to do with it going forward. Um, it's an easy way, rapidly, to get you guys bought in on how fast your eyes can see, process information, and trigger the gun. All right, you let your eyes shoot the gun, then. So, Frank Proctor, outstanding class. I've learned so much. Uh, I would say world-class instructor. Um, it's definitely changed the way that I'm shooting. Frank and how he delivers it is totally chill. Um, there is no pressure. He's very relaxed, but his information is key. Uh, he has so much experience, real world, on the gaming side of it. Big changer for me. Also, the facility, the way he's developed it, what he's done with it is amazing. Uh, you get to get to that part where it's discovery learning. He'll go through things, he'll show you, uh, demonstrate it, you do it under his guidance, and then he just kind of lets you go do your thing. Um, amazing class. Uh, absolutely amazing. But you can shoot a gun on the waiting line, you can do that. What do you think? I was got the, got the look. I believe when you had the success, though, is when you're in the sights. You know, it's not easy movement or shooting or target. So working in the sights is good stuff. You're going to have to unlock some more joints, it's helpful. And to know if you're over the barrel, you got to see more. While you're seeing that, I'll let that come in. Yeah, my, my second run, I. Three other times I've explored the dock, and the conclusion I keep coming to is that I'm faster with irons. But I'm going to spend about a month with this one and have like. I think it's been great. I mean, there's a lot of things that uh, he's pointed out just in terms of uh, focus, eyes, uh, the, the details of, of how you're gripping the gun, uh, how your eyes should be focusing on the sights, and how all that flows together to getting an accurate shot. And then quite a few of the things where uh, maybe we've always been told that you have to do certain things in terms of moving with shooting or um, constructs such as that, that maybe he is has broken that and that you don't have to do those things and what are the core important items that really help to drive the performance of shooting consistently and accurately. So I think it's been very value added. Range is nice, got a lot of different options, a lot of uh, 
diversity in terms of uh, stage setups, um, drills that you go through that are, they're drills, but they're also things that are, he's trying to drive home a certain uh, element that he wants you to extract from it and then it's building on the next item. So I think the, the uh, area in terms of setup and ranges uh, of the bays are very nice. Do you ever want to put it out anywhere? Now, I was a little analytical about that. I wasn't shooting, or I wasn't ready to shoot nearly as quickly as I wanted to be. I'd be a little bit more efficient with the working from the holster piece. All right. There's other little things we can do in there to accomplish that all a little bit easier, faster, but that's the way. Just walking, seeing, shooting, without stressing anything else out. Who's up? Probably a smarter thing to do, given that particular space, is set yourself up where you're gonna set up on one. Okay. So it doesn't disappear. Because right about here, 12 starts, and the barrel can start matching. I'm a big fan of the way that he breaks down uh, the mechanics, uh, how he breaks down the mindset, um, visually what we should be seeing, how we should be timing shots. Um, I'm one of those nerds that appreciates the in-depth explanation of why you do things instead of um, just go do them. And I uh, really appreciate comparing this technique to other techniques, um, talking about uh, what works. Um, it's definitely changed my shooting quite a bit. I have changed uh, my grip, my stance, the way I hold the gun, um, and my shooting overall has improved tremendously. Uh, range is pretty awesome. Uh, Alabama is a great place to have a range. It's beautiful. Um, lots of bays. Um, I haven't been looking at that. Did you shoot? Do it, baby. Upside down. All right, has anybody ever watched the Netflix show Stranger Things? Gotta watch it, it's addictive. My daughter got into it. Go ahead. Yeah, I know all about the upside down. Why couldn't we have all done it? Yeah. Alright, so, so stand by. As you guys are working this, do drop fire it. Do press the trigger. When you bring him back, Mike, bring him back straight down too. That's pretty cringe for your flat. Oh yeah. We're about to have some fun. We'll start moving.
Shooting is much more fluid when you keep your feet rolling instead of stopping them and, and pausing them. Nice. You ready? To do it wrong because you have to do it over again. There we go. It's just seeing. There we go. Foot speed looked good. Get one more up in there. Now, what I just looked at the last two shooters, like where they were at in relationship to these barrels before they were shooting, or when they were shooting five. And the past two have been right about here. Team bad. I think the distance is legit. Normal walking speed absolutely can be at the barrel and hitting 10, maybe even just a little bit sooner. It's uh, one, it's his attitude is unbelievable uh, how excited he still is about shooting and he simplifies um, techniques so you can, uh, the average person, so you can put a, get a grasp on it uh, and he, just, just his energy and uh, keeps things moving and interesting. And it's hard to uh, argue with uh, the results watching him shoot. And uh, he just has a fantastic way of uh, teaching and presenting the material so you can understand it uh, or you can wrap your head around it, uh, you know, uh, simplify it a little bit. And uh, he's just a fantastic teacher. Um, it's unbelievable. Uh, I'd love to have this uh, near my backyard. Uh, really state-of-the-art uh, facility. So many different um, uh, bays, six bays, plus uh, rifle shooting. Um, there's, he can set up so many different, uh, so many different challenges and he always, he's uh, always thinking. He's a thinker. He's always trying to learn. He ain't bad. Um, little things we can start doing in here. If you want to start working towards that today, we'll be doing a bunch of stuff tomorrow to, to clean up, be a little bit more effective, more aggressive with the vision. See where you're at, how many steps you've taken or where your head's at relative to these barrels when you're seeing and hitting number five. You know, not pausing or stopping to do it, just where you're at when you make that shot happen. I need my thing, man. <laughs> Check out what's going on with that forager. Yeah, I tried to control it. You can get this magazine a lot closer. Right now, you're so far away from what you're loaded into. Yeah. Back in the gun's a little bit unstable. And I was only barely a mediocre shooter when I came here. And I've got a long ways to go, but man, I learned a ton of tools that are gonna make me a better shooter. And uh, I do a little bit of recreational USPSA type stuff. And, uh, and mainly in home defense, you know, uh, concealed carry permit sort of thing. And I feel a whole lot more confident and I know the right things to work on when I leave here. What I think about the range here, uh, it's nice. There's a lot of places to shoot. The setups are fantastic. It really challenges your abilities and, and uh, shows you the kinds of things you need to do to uh, increase your ability as you go through it. Outstanding. There, you might feel some of that gap in there with your hand. Or, or even this would have been a little more leverage and another point of contact, maybe. Combine the plant into two. Nice. 